Welcome everyone back to the Crimson 15 Podcast. I'm your host, Crimson 10. And 15 PCA. And 454. Be sure to follow us over on Twitter at C15 Podcast. So, uh, we covered she in the past and we're going to cover it in the future. And people are always, oh, the animation's fine. The animation looks great. And I'm like, what are you, stupid? No. But, Crazy. <laughs> but uh, other people have shared some some stories with us. On, we had, there's an email on the About page. You can hit us up on Twitter. But some people have shared this story with it. I kind of saw screenshots of it, but I actually watched a little promo for it. Um, it's made by the same people who did Legend of Korra and Last Airbender, and you can see a lot of that in this. Very much. Um, Koji? Is that what it's called? K-O-J-I? And there's a little three-minute little short. I I go see it, and this is what animation should look like. This is the pinnacle of what things... And it's all flat and non-dynamic and how pathetic she animation is in character designs this is like a fine wine and that was yeah. garbage water yeah you're looking you're looking yeah yeah the, it looks like the box wine you get to store <laughs> when you look at the side shots of she it reminds me of the hieroglyphic planes in egypt just, just it, that flat and just looking straight this looks lively the, the characters i like the voice acting they look seeing the good chemistry there. i see I, I see a lot of ang in this kid yes, like yeah. you're like kind of goofy kind of lighthearted, but he also likes to fight and kind of a show off I got all this from three minutes. He has like a cat friend. I kind of got a Mowgli Bagura type feel, feel too, you know, Jungle yeah. Book feel. I want to know more about this world. I want to see more of this. I, I don't I don't sense any. You know, of course, it's going to have the environmental message. Yeah. We got these robot guys. They're capturing that. It looks like uh, some villager people. people. They look like dogs. Yeah, they look like pugs look type. Like, yeah. And so, you know, you're going to get that, but it's not beat over your head. Yeah, yeah. It's it's just subtle. It just kind of reminded me a lot of uh, Sonic uh, Set AM. That series of Sonic uh, on ABC? Yes. She would wish it looked this good. Oh, oh so close. And also, a little about it, the colors were vibrant and bright. Oh. Very it, bright. I love that about it. From shows. the very beginning, you see them like they're running through like a forest and they're like, oh, who touches the tree first wins? And you see the shadow from the light coming out of the trees. So you see this. She would, well, doesn't have anything like that. No, they, no, they don't no. even have barely any shading on the characters alone. This is when people say, oh, I've actually had someone. Uh, accuse me in, on Twitter accuse me of photoshopping uh, She-Ra screenshots oh, oh that's wow. not her armor oh that isn't like that doesn't match I'm like dude go watch the trailer oh yes. okay whatever Like, so the fact that you thought I photoshopped it just proves how bad the animation right. yeah, is you yeah, had exactly. to think that we messed with it because it had to be because you made it look that bad no it is that bad yeah that's that, it. that speaks volumes yeah. even the defenders I thought I, I doctored images. When you watch this trailer, the cat that they almost run over has more animation than any of the uh, of the Shira characters I've seen. And that is a little cat that's on the yeah, trailer yeah, for five I, minutes. Exactly. And the other thing I want to say, too, one thing I will say about the... This is from the people that did Avatar, obviously. Mm -hmm. scene. I'll tell you this. They know how to make fight scenes. They know how to choreograph those scenes amazingly. They do a great job of that. Regardless of what happened to the end of Korra, they really know what they're doing when it comes to fight scenes. And they're very... Like the action and it fits. Like you can see when they're running, like kind of having like a funny race. You know, they're in the forest. You can see the shadowing of the, the yeah, the, like I was the saying, trees. perfect. And um, you can see that they kind of they have a relationship. They're like yes, a family, yeah. even though they're not the same species. They they you can see that they're a family. Yeah, you can see that apparently there's a challenge going on. And he said that oh, you're gonna have to take a bath, which we all thought like what's wrong with the bath? But then it's by a tongue, so it's thinking he's part of a cat family, so they're gonna lick him. So it reminds me very much like Mowgli. Yeah. So, so they're like oh, you're gonna get a tongue bath, which is kind of is really nasty. But if you, that, that's but they're that's animals. How you raised, and, yeah. and obviously, I guarantee they're gonna grow their little band. They're gonna get more people, and it's gonna be they're gonna have to fight some enemy see there's all that you get this from the trailer and he has like lightning powers yeah. lightning powers and, and he's got ice powers the and then does. the cat has ice beam powers so i'm assuming maybe these creatures all have abilities and different things that they can use um when they were fighting those robots that was completely utterly badass and it looked great and wonderful and he had the vibrant movements he's using his powers he's flipping and not just Shearer walking out of the field and stabbing the ground it was not some lame thing like that this looked cool exactly they know how like i said they know what they're doing they have storyboards and they're following them. They go, look, this is gonna, he's going to hit this guy, hit that guy, he's going to do this. It's not just one thing, you know, it's a multiple thing. And things. what I will love about it is that they took the detail and time to, to do certain things like with... Uh, and this, animated it really well, yeah, too. Yeah, like in this one, how they showed the fact that the boy is a little more wild in his movements. He's a little bit more like he's... He's like, unrefined. He's unrefined. He's... Like in she I would almost want more tactical, almost like military moves and how she uses her sword. And it's the opposite. It's the opposite. She's all... Swinging. Like, wouldn't she be more tactical? You're trained so by being a general. general. She exactly. was a general. No, yeah. I think about so it. So she would be more refined. This makes sense for this boy because he was raised by cats. Yeah, so it's like, like he's probably... I wouldn't be surprised if he lives in the forest. It wouldn't surprise Joshua, me. Joshua, he can't fight him like a wolf. He has to fight him like a man. man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But, um... I 
and this is uh, coming from a polygon, but anyway, yeah, this is just yeah. covering this thing. Uh, Koji was first envisioned five years ago by Disney character animator Alexander Snow, who took project uh, to Studio Mirror, who will direct the full series. The company said in a statement from Snow, he compared Koji to other live, uh, to other action-based TV series, including Samurai Jack, Pokemon, and obviously Avatar. Not only does the story have a lot of substance, but each character is believable and layered throughout the series and tackles real issues such as confidence, abandonment, racism, brotherhood, friendship, and purpose. Snow said everyone is a hero in their own eyes until they see the truth through another's. And I've always said this, and this yeah. even impl- applies in real life. Everyone's the hero in their own story. Mm-hmm. So, I also like the thing they said, brotherhood. We don't, showing males in a positive light. Right. That yeah. that him and in his, uh, I'm assuming he's being raised by these cat, cat people, people or other animals in the forest. Mm-hmm. That he, they, these, that's his brother. Just because he knows he's not the same that's race, right. he loves them and cares for them. They're a family. That's his and brother. Then, and mm-hmm. also, what helps, and it's not anything they did wrong here or, or right, I should say. Is the fact that that it looks amazing, but but it only will look only really good like five years ago. But since animation's gotten so bad, it looks incredible. Looks that incredible. much more is the contrast. And what I love too is love is so stark that everyone looks like uh, they're doing the right thing in their own eyes. And yeah. I love that because if you think about story wise, we don't know. Maybe those robot people are like actual people. And they need like their DNA to survive. Or what if they're like, oh, this again? I'm I'm all speculating yeah, exactly. here. I like to do ideas where. You look at the bad guys. Oh, they look like bad guys from the outside. But what if that land, there was going to be like a major earthquake or a volcano and they were actually saving those people? But see, but you guys are already proving this is interesting because you're coming up, what if this and that? And you're excited about it as opposed to, we know what's going to happen. Or they, they you wear see the, it from a mile away. Or they see they wear those suits because they need to breathe. They yeah. can't breathe on that planet. So now they look all scary because they have these masks and they talk funny. You know, you said. It, it kind of, re- or what if uh, those... Those uh, dog people are overpopulating, and another race is dying out because of it. Mm-hmm. It's, it's so funny, but if you see it from different angles, and different perspectives, but you have to do what you feel is right in your heart. Or, or maybe that uh, dog people are going extinct, and they're like, "We'll take them somewhere. We'll make them breed, and they'll get more of the population." Yeah, and we'll try to save them from. But we don't know. We don't but, know. But it's I like this insane. idea because that line that they quote here: "Everyone is a hero in their own eyes." So maybe. They, they they think they're doing the right thing. Maybe mm-hmm. they're going about it maybe a little too rough or whatever, but what if they honestly have good intentions? Exactly. I don't know. See, we'll see. I, that, I, again, we did talk about that in Shira. What if, you know, Hordak is, but it looks like it's not going to have, and none of that, none of this, this is going to be But see, by looking at this, this could be a possibility, what you guys are saying. Yes. There was no possibility in Shira, none whatsoever. Yeah. So yeah. animation like is not time. dead. No. There's things like this. There's things like, uh, what was that, a Hezbel Hotel? Another person shared that with me. I think oh. we'll probably talk about that yeah. later. But there is good animation out there. And I know people, oh, you're just crapping all over. And animation has been better than it ever has been. Mm. Don't show me she and say that. No. Show me this and say that. Yes. And this looks like it has a diverse group of characters. And it looks like it's going to tell you again. It's not skipping frames either. It, yeah. yeah. Oh, man. That fight scene looks so good. Very good. I love the teleporting. I love the way he moved. Fluent. I love the way his facial expressions. Like one hit, he was all like being it's Very angry. Yeah, very angry. Very, very, I'm pretty uh, sure this guy didn't just hire all his friends that he just graduated from, from art school. Uh, from Tumblr. <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't a bunch of these people who put their who who worked their way up the industry yeah. and have talent. Yeah, exactly. And like you said, I love the three people that he named. He named he said Avatar, Samurai Jack, and Pokemon. Pokemon has great fight scenes. Oh. I know people might say like the actual regular like Ash walking around is pretty bad, but the the fight scenes of Pokemon are great. Samurai Jack also had great. Fight oh scenes. man, yeah. If you haven't, we have to watch that last season. That was amazing that they did. Samurai and um, it just looks really really good. So I want to showcase good as well as bad. Uh, I, I wish we showcase uh, Shira just because it's fun to make fun of, oh and goodness. it's fun to post it online and just to hear all the but, crazy reasons people the like they like but it. The thing is, for me, out of all of us, I'm probably the biggest Shira fan. It just disappoints me too mm-hmm. that Shira's so awful. And this, it comes out of nowhere, and you're like, this. And this, and this, been sure and this is all sure brand new. That's another thing you yeah. It's all brand new. Yeah. It's not. Oh, let me take someone else's idea and let me junk it up. This is all 100%, 1 trillion percent so original. So they can kind of even experiment a little bit because it's a new world. It, we don't know what the world's in it. Exactly. If they find, we find out that this gay was, uh, this guy was gay, I wouldn't have a crumble because about Because you it. didn't take someone else's old character and change him. Yeah. yeah, I wouldn't care. And that's not the main focus. It's about them having fun and it's not, they're not, they're not trying to make a, yeah. a statement here. Yeah. They're just trying to tell stories. And that's what I love too. You don't know anything about them. All you know is that they're brothers. We don't, like in Shira, you kind of get these vibes where you're like, okay, we get it and we know what's going to happen, but... Who cares about that? I want good stories. I want people having fun. And just and just just regardless of story, 
Just visually. Good. You cannot watch the Sierra trailer, then watch this and say, oh yeah, they're equal. They're pretty close. They're not. It's like a coloring book in the freaking, you know, uh, the Fine Arts Museum. That's how far apart this animation I would, I would quality basically is. Basically, be, be like, this is like, this is like professionals versus uh, high junior high kids yeah. making art. It's what yeah. it is. Sorry. I know we're going to get hate for that. I don't care because I have to be honest yeah, about gonna it. Yeah, there's going to do it. And I, I had another person, another beautiful uh, Twitter quote from someone. Shears animation is good enough. It's just a little girl show. So there's a little girls deserve terrible animation. <laughs> little <laughs> girls, know, it's good enough. People, ask the people My Little Pony that because they make amazing animation with My Little Pony. Exactly. They perfected yeah. that that flat animation yeah. style. They did a really good job. Those um, look at the the first Avatar show. It was meant for kids. You're telling me that they didn't have to go all that crazy with oh, the animation? Oh, but it says, oh, it's just good enough. Just stuck it down. It's for stupid little girls, right? No. Boys, girls, everyone deserves Always great do your stories. Best. Yeah. No yes. matter what you're doing. Always try to get the best talent and do their best. And if you don't have the budget, then max out your budget. Go to the limit. Don't be like, oh, we had this much. Let me scale it back. Let's just, eh. Yeah. Well, because in. when you hired all your friends to do storyboards and they just color yeah. in the storyboards for the thing, that's what you get. Yeah, and literally and literally, the head person has to care about the product. Yes, that's true. Now, you could tell by this, they care. The showrunners for this, they just care. Give, yeah, I'm going to bleep that out, but uh, yeah. they, yeah. they yeah. care. And the thing is, Noel Stilvison does not care about She-Ra. No. She doesn't give a crap about they it. They didn't even watch the original. She they honest, I think she's come on and said she kind of hated it. Yeah, yeah she, she did. She just was looking through the catalog. What's a show with the girls in it? Okay, I can make them all lesbians. Oh, we got that line. Who was right? DreamWorks, they work closely with Netflix. We'll do that. That's what happened. Yeah. That's exactly what happened. Instead of being uh, bold... Pitching a new show. Pitching a new show with your characters. Yeah. No, you wanted to ruin an old one because at least he thought, oh, at least I'll get... Half the people to this watch This looks it. amazing, but man, I also like the other one, that other short with the dragon. Remember that one we saw? With the... Oh, yeah. Was it there in the animation, uh, the Nickelodeon animation it showcase? Looked, it looked okay. Remember yeah. that little uh, cave yes. girl? She had like painted yeah, face? Yeah, I thought it was, they didn't make it, though. It looked cool. Yeah, that was cool. Um, I still like the train one. The, 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 uh, the Infinity Train? I want to see Infinity train. train. I'm curious That about looks that. like it has low animation, but it fits the style. It's not an action show. So... But... So I want to go through and I want to find uh, more great animation because I want to showcase good stuff. It's not just us crapping all over Shira because we hate, you know, uh, animation. No, we love animation. That's why we crap on it because mm -hmm. it needs to be better. If Shira had this type of animation, I would, I would it say, would help. It would take it leaps and bounds. Yeah. Even with the same stupid crappy storylines are probably going to have. But just looking at crappy yeah. art you and can, crappy yeah. story. Even if, even though I don't like the story of Voltron, at least Voltron looks good. Well. It looks yeah. good. Well, it looks good. You can at least you, say that. You can change a show around. You can give a show almost four points based off animation if it's good enough. Because that's key. It's key. Because you made this world. <laughs> you know? It's not like you had to have though. You made this. Yeah. You and again, work. like in it, the background just shows that it's an alien world. There's different like planetary... There's moons and other planets. I want to know sky. more. I definitely want to exactly. know more. Exactly. We do, we don't know if it's going to be on this planet. Maybe he goes planet to planet. How cool would that be? He's I wearing, but he doesn't look like a jungle boy. He's so I'm space. thinking maybe he came from like they were experimenting on people and something happened with the facility and he got it. He escaped and he's living with all these animals. So that's why he has lightning powers. I just, there's a million storylines running around. I in my know. Head. I even thought of a good one when maybe his cat people killed all his people and he was a baby and they're like oh we'll just take him yeah like it's not right to kill a and child then, yeah. and, they really, and he's the one that told him not to do it and then he hasn't told him the truth and he has to tell, tell him yeah, yeah he exactly. does all these little things with you. or you know what if his people were evil yeah, yeah maybe. and then, then again they're like oh man but this little boy isn't evil yeah exactly it kind of reminds me in, in, um, in uh, Soul Eater how Black Star's family is a bunch of like, like horrible evil, people. Evil people. It, just because your family is horrible doesn't mean you are. Not that awful Thundercats War, but the Thundercats show before that one kind of did that with yeah. Lionel's people. That was cool. Yeah, the, yeah. The, yeah but and the show, my God, they're actually kind of the bad guys. Yeah, yeah I mean, you kind of understand what the lizard people are doing. They're th thinking because they were bad. His father was awful. So, so there's so much I, I, I'm going to keep my eye on this. I want to see this. I, I hope someone picks it up. Uh, come on, Nickelodeon. You need a, a good action show again. Uh, I think Nickelodeon has done well with things like Loud House and stuff like that, but they need that yeah. cool action show. But again, though, would they take a risk again because of how they treated them with Avatar? Nah, right? who knows? Nah. Who knows? But just from this, though, I think people will be curious. They'll be intrigued. Definitely. Just keep the animation. I know you can't keep it as high as this, but do your best because this is really good. You set the bar pretty high, and yeah. I, I, want, I want standards. Mm-hmm. Crimson Sin here. Thanks for watching and be sure to like, sub, and share. Also, for the most up-to-date information about the podcast, follow us on Twitter at C15Podcast.